So let's say you got 10 jet skis and <laughs> that's going to cost at the marina. OK, and if you don't have a garage, what are you going to do then? We don't have to get no insurance on people or any of the equipment that these people got. I kind of feel sorry for the people that's just doing it offline and everything and it offline and everything is way more profitable. And you can scale to multiple cities if you, if you don't start to jet ski rental business with tasks in the right order. There's going to be a lot of regrets you're going to have. But let's stop that. <laughs> Getting this float on. Hey, what it do, y'all? It's Clay from Wave Sandy Water Rental. Hey. Make sure you like, subscribe, share at Grave Sandy that YouTube page. Do Make sure y'all do that. All the other YouTubers are telling you to do. Do it for <laughs> me. Support your boy. I would really appreciate it. I and subscribe. Like so the other YouTubers, they might not even be able to give you some type of uh, incentive. I'll give you a ten percent discount if you subscribe. If you show me your subscriber to YouTube. Come to Charlotte area. Get a jet ski. Ten percent off. Get it. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe. I subscribe. Don't be a hypocrite. You hear me? Like, he even created an irresistible offer for y'all. So, make sure you, if you're in the area, what do you say, the Charlotte area, go ahead and subscribe so you can get 10% off a of jet ski rental until you start your own jet ski rental business. Guarantee. It's, it's timestamp, too. Show me the video where I said it, too. So, I can't, I can't fold on y'all. I gotta keep it, I gotta keep it a buck. <laughs> um, but this video today, so I'm not wasting anybody's time because I don't like time to be wasted. Today, we're gonna talk about the things that people don't tell you about this business. I'm just gonna be transparent and I will ask in the comment section if there's another question you guys want me to answer please let me do it I'm not going to lie to you guys this is my second year in the business so I'm gonna tell you what I know of course there's a lot of people who've been in this business for a lot longer than me so they're gonna have a lot more knowledge but I'm talking from an entrepreneur someone who's looking to get into business you want to know the ins and outs Okay, so what I like about him is he's very honest, guys. He's only going to tell you what he knows, and that's the same thing with me. For example, I don't have experience starting a physical jet ski rental business, but I do have experience starting an online, aka virtual jet ski rental business, meaning I have, don't need any equipment. There's no overhead costs. I don't have to hire any staff or anything like that. No problems, no firing or hiring or none of that extra stuff, and I can still profit from daily jet ski rentals, but I'm going to only teach you what I know. I am talking to you. I'm not talking to the boulders or jet skis that you've been doing this for so long and you don't want to listen to some kid that's been doing it for two years. Like, listen, you're, you're more advanced. You can tell me about my stuff. Give me some advice, you know, but I'm just right. entrepreneurs that are looking for to get into this business because I see that jet ski rentals, boat rentals, it's starting to get a little hot. So in this business, it's going to take a lot of patience, you know. Uh, when I say patience, you got to go through tutorials. Safety is huge in this business. You all right, so he said jet ski rentals are starting to get hot, but truthfully, uh, you know, like you said, he doesn't have too, too much experience, maybe two years. Uh, but right after COVID, right after COVID, like it, like, <laughs> skyrocketed like people trying to get out people trying to enjoy life and all of that like once you can find people to a short space and everything like that they, they trying to get out you understand but even before snow bit you know what i'm saying jet ski rentals was an extremely popular business to get into there's a couple guys on instagram that i'll show you guys later i'm not stingy you can't just rush out buy vessels and not know what you're doing you know the first thing i would do is make sure that you can know where you're going to store your vessels you know know where you're going to store them that's a key thing uh you know, if you don't have a garage of your own, you're going to have to either, you know, buy storage or you're going to have to place your vessels at a marina. Now, that is horrible. You understand what I'm saying? And this is why I strongly suggest you guys start virtually. Even if you do decide to do this later on in the physical offline world, starting your jet ski rental business, start virtually so you can prove the demand. What do I mean by that? Everybody thinks just because there's a lake or an ocean in a specific area that jet ski rental businesses will be profitable, but that's not true. So if you start the way that we do in copy paste rentals uh, in a first pan comment or on the website right there, if you start virtually, then you can start by sharing or commissions with the people that actually have to spend money hiring firing uh training staff purchasing equipment uh getting mechanics to fix things that break down and all of that stuff so we don't have to even own any jet ski rentals all right it's the same business model as uh toro they rent out vehicles that they do not own the platform themselves don't own it but they're billionaires now uh airbnb don't own any of the properties but they're billionaires because they get a cut whenever someone uses the platform to rent it out all right so it's the same thing with uber as well so this is the business model you want to do safely and profitably online with the jet ski rentals and then you can go ahead and experiment with it offline if you want you know sometimes that can be tricky if you're buying your vessels in the march season usually those marinas are slips are done so, so you gotta start calling those marinas in the winter season just to get a slot open because there's a lot of times boat owners are like all right the season's over i'm not about to renew my lease but maybe my release ends in october eh. 
If you guys don't know what a slip is, a lot of boat owners will know what a slip is. But you, it's kind of like uh, the right to park a vehicle. You know how, like, in the parking lot, you can get a slip. Like, if you're going to court downtown somewhere or something, you have to get a slip or they'll tow your stuff. It's the same thing with the boats <laughs> and the jet skis, right? You have to pay for space. You can't just roll up and have your stuff sitting right there, okay? So it's very expensive, especially if you guys do not know how to get bookings or rent out your jet skis, okay? That's another thing. A lot of people are trying to convince you to start these rental businesses, but if you don't have anywhere to house your equipment okay then your input is a liability not an asset all of those jet skis let's say you got 10 jet skis and <laughs> that's going to cost at the marina okay and if you don't have a garage what are you going to do then so the best thing to do guys even if you do plan to do this offline is to start virtually so that you can take from the profits and invest into the physical world that's how you do it I'll probably try to renew in February. You take that slot. Call in October. Hey, is there any slots available? I'll start paying. You need. You want to lock down that marina slip because you just never know. Man. Yeah, that's a good advice. That marina slip could be a blessing because for me, I got a uh, Toyota Tacoma. I don't like towing my big behind boat uh, all the way across lakes because I go to different lakes sometimes. Like, What's I don't that? like towing it. I don't like trying to find out where I'm going to store it. I got a marina slip. I, I got a marina slip. So my renters meet me at the marina. I literally, uh, and, I, and I don't, I apologize, I don't have a marina slip, I have a dry marina storage, so it's covered. So I just take my trailer, hook it up, and it's literally a minute drive, and I'm able to drop off my boat. So he dropping game right here, but what I will say, guys, is it seems like a whole lot. <laughs> it seems like a lot. When you were searching this, because you heard it was trending, maybe you saw it on the Upflip channel or something like that, but when you were searching this, you were like, man, I want to start a jet ski rental business, man. I saw that dude do the interview on David Shan's channel on the uh, Social Proof Podcast, David Never Sleeps or whatever, and dude making bank with the jet ski rental business. But... Even if you go and get his course, it's going to talk about all of this stuff right here. Why? Because these are physical assets that you are using. Instead, what you should do is create virtual assets, digital real estate that will generate the bookings for the rentals for jet ski rentals. OK. And the people that already have the jet skis that don't know how to rent their stuff out, they'll have to give you a huge percentage of that. You don't have to check people in, check people out, fix any equipment, do any of that extra stuff. But you get to take home the bacon, baby, the, the beef bacon. Right. No sad. No, no park over here to the renters you know so you know this is the lake that i usually rent out of this is lake this is lake wiley very peaceful lake that's mm -hmm. also that's another thing you want to know where lake you're renting out of i like to rent my jet skis in calming lakes i don't like going in lakes where there's a lot of activities because for me i got a lot of first time renters and, yeah and the jet skis is a liability business i know that you know so i like to take my jet skis to the fun lake lake <laughs> norman for my own personal leisure for rentals, I stay at Lake Wiley because it's, it's, it's less activities going on. It's a lot more safety precaution. There's a lot more areas for you to slow down. So as he said before, his experience does not guarantee that that will be your experience. This is his personal experience, but he's dropping game, though. If you guys do go the offline route, he's talking about choose more tranquil. Tranquil. Uh, that's Spanish, right? For calm or cool. You understand what I'm saying? Like, don't get the, like, high activity, uh, um, you know, places and stuff. Like he said, there's going to be a lot of people renting these out for the first time they're gonna be bumping into other people breaking your stuff all type of stuff look up the dangers of jet skiing and you'll see just, uh, just how bad stuff can get this is why we do all of this stuff online because it keeps us safe behind the guardrails and everything like that we don't have to get no insurance on people or any of the equipment that these people got i kind of feel sorry for the people that's just doing it offline and everything it's way more profitable and you can scale to multiple cities if you're doing this online so to me it just protects my renters a lot of police out here so it's not the wild wild west i like my my business to have as least liabilities as possible all right let me try to think of something else in the business um gas gas is, <laughs> yes. business. Gas is very expensive um i say when i got seven renters a day i'm typically going to the gas station twice and that's taking my skis with me each time and gassing up gas tanks oh my god so y'all hearing this right so basically he got a gas up his vehicles and he got a gas up the freaking jet skis all right so this is crazy expensive to tell you the truth man like Ah, oh, guys, look, do this virtually first and then count the cost to be the boss another way, all right? Because each renter could be using a jet ski differently. Like, if you have, you might have some first time renters and they might be going like 15 miles per hour for an hour. That ain't gonna use up too much gas, but you're gonna have some speed demons that they're like, oh, 
Yeah, I got jet skis of my own. If they say they have jet skis of their own, oh yeah, you ain't getting that jet ski back on a full tank. They See, that's what he's talking about, right? This is why you want to be very strategic with people that you rent your stuff out and where they're going to be at. A lot of these people are well versed in this world and they're trying to have an experience and other people don't treat your property as good as they treat their property. And some of the people might be renting out your property because they destroyed theirs. So you got to be very careful. They are going to use all that gas. I don't care if it's an hour rental or two hour rental, three hour rental, they gonna put it to the pedal to the metal. So <laughs> that's another thing. I'll, I always feel good when I hear a renter like, oh man, this is, I have my own jet ski of my own. I just think like, oh man, perfect, you're gonna take care of my vessel. Mm, Them nah. motherfuckers, they'll bring that <laughs> jet ski back, no gas. So just be prepared for that. Um, I think I talked about the marina slip, but definitely wanna call in to, to marinas. Commercial insurance, commercial insurance is huge. In the jet ski business, people can get hurt. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a lot of speed demons that's just gonna take it. They're gonna try to go to pedal to the metal. They're gonna now listen to rules. I will tell you, repeat your rules multiple times. Have policies in place. Have policies in place. Have rules in place. So this is not a nursery. You understand? I'm not a babysitter. I don't have time to repeat rules and and like baby food Gerber these people and stuff like that. Most of them are gonna well, they should all be grown. I shouldn't have to tell them precautions and stuff like that. Like if they want to be speed demons and jack themselves up, that's on them. And all of this commercial insurance, see, this, this is what I'm saying, guys. Like we don't have to deal with this virtually. We can make just as much as the physical jet ski rental business owners, but we can do it uh, online and build our brands faster. The good thing is we don't have to deal with any injuries, any lawsuits or none of that. Once we've generated the booking and passed it off to the jet ski owner, our job is freaking done. And you can make 2K, 3K per day, depending on how many locations you build out virtually guys no overhead no dealing with staff no hiring or firing this is the perfect business so over here on the copy and paste rentals website this is the business model that we teach it's the same business model as airbnb rentals Toro rentals doordash all of these guys all right we're drop servicing other people's properties or services and everything like that and we don't have to have any other liabilities any of the responsibilities refunds training or none of that bs but we can make all of the profits baby you understand what i'm saying so we got coach keith right here who hit 140k in less than 90 days with copy and paste rentals if you don't hit your first one to three k in the first 14 days using this business model we're so cold with it that we will give you back money for every assignment that you successfully complete that's how good we are okay so check this out and this is easy it's copy and paste rentals okay shakim got leads the first day tt got uh results the same day uh kim got results the same day all right. As soon as he uh, did everything we told him to, he started getting bookings and he booked up for months ahead. And uh, Shaquem got eight bookings and then booked up for months ahead. And then so on and so forth, guys. This is what's on the inside. What we like to do is we start with the party bus business rental model, okay? Because you can make high ticket commissions in there. And like I said, you don't need to drive a party bus or own a party bus. All of this is virtual. Then we go into the yacht rental business model because it's high ticket. You can make thousands and thousands of dollars per day just off of one freaking yacht rental booking, okay? Then we have the copy and paste vacation rentals. You must, you might be more familiar with it. We have rental arbitrage in there. We have drop service and real estate in there, all of that extra stuff. And then we have the car rental uh, business this model down here and we have experience in all of these niches that we show right here we only teach you what we know just like the brother in the video said okay so if you don't have a working profitable business right now and you've been searching jet ski rental business party bus rental bit equipment rental business how do i make money online guys it is literally even though the countdown is done right here all you have to do is pay $97. $97, you have instant access to our course, training, and community with coaching multiple times per week. Make a move. There is no cash in without action. It doesn't matter what your passion.